I'm wearing this jacket and I have no idea why because it's literally like 20 degrees in Shanghai. Sunny day. It was just cold at um, my in-law's house a little bit, so I thought it's gonna be cold time. Oh my God, super hot. Super hot. Yeah. There they are behind us. This is sick. because he can finally fly his drone here. So just setting it up. Uh, yeah, because in Japan, it's pretty much banned almost everywhere, so we didn't get a chance to fly it at all. So it's kind of drawn in a big crowd here. So many people want to see what's going on. Danny's explaining to his audience how the drone works. This girl's really excited. <laughs> So today we're heading over to the Bund. I'm gonna check out the gorgeous skyline of downtown Shanghai and the views over there. Um, so the Bund's really interesting because on one side it's new Shanghai and on the other side it's old Shanghai. So I'm gonna show you guys all about that. So. How many kilometers is it from here? It's 40 kilometers. But again, we only do sections, triple sections. We're walking about 10 kilometers. separated by the Huangpu River. Huangpu River is part of the Yangtze River, which is the third longest river in the world. 
And this is the tallest building in Shanghai. And at one point it was actually the tallest building in the world. Um, but it was beat by Dubai's uh, Burj. Yeah. It's about double the size of the second tallest one, which is the one that has a little square cut out in the middle. And it's really cool because you can actually walk um, on that at the very top. And the glass underneath is all see-through, so you basically are walking and you can look down and see the bottom of the city. It's a street side of Bun. You can see these buildings are not a traditional Chinese style architecture. It's more a Western because before the First World War, you know, Shanghai is pretty much occupied by all the invaded by other countries such as uh, UK and uh, Germany, yeah, Japan, it's got a very European and US. Basically, kind of like a, a fireplace. You put a, you put a coal in there, and then you heat up the pot, and then the, this little chimney, all the smoke comes out of the chimney. That's so interesting. You can like if you want to get warm, then you can just put your hand in. <laughs> yeah. So it's really cool in China and Shanghai. There's certain bicycles on the streets, they're yellow, and you just type in a code on an Alipay, yeah. and it unlocks it, and then you can just ride it for the day. Yeah, my parents had this, uh, this app, yeah. basically you can just do that. So Danny's just scanning the bike now. He's using his mom's phone, so it'll automatically charge her Alipay account, which is kind of like a credit card, um, but it's very popular in China. Unlocked. So now we gotta find another one. Going through this little park, and you got it just behind this park. It was built in the 15th century. Uh, it used to be a, a temple in the Ming Dynasty. again. He is obsessed. So beautiful here in New Garden. This is the landmark of Shanghai, Oriental Pearl Tower. Okay, this built in 1997. Uh, at the time, it was the third tallest building in the world. Wow. I mean, over the past 20 years, there's many buildings been uh, constructed. Now, there's if you're looking around, there's uh, quite a few buildings. It's about the same height. 
And this is the Shanghai Center. This is the Jing Mao Tower. And there's another, uh, I forgot a name. Sir, it has a little hole. It kind of like a can opener. The, the, that building is the second tallest building. The Shanghai Center was done last year in October. And uh, now is the third tallest building in the world. If you look at the Oriental Pearl, it's a very, very interesting structure, right? It's got three pearls, and it's got uh, about six, seven small pearls kind of raised up. If you look at the big globe right there, the right at the first one, yeah. it's only about 80 meters, so it's not that high. Mm -hmm. And when I was young, elementary school, our school took us as a field trip to the first pearl, the first, oh, the cool. first pearl. And at the time, it was, it was the tallest building in China, and it's, you can see everything. pictures of, uh, of the Oriental Tower. So, um, there's tons of tourists here today. Show you guys this bridge. So it's, it's basically a 360 circle. All the way to the other side. It's really cool. So on the other side you get a better view of the bigger buildings. The Shanghai Center. At the, uh, the, the Super Grand Mall and in China, most of the restaurants in the mall, it's kind of a, kind of a trendy. Definitely not gonna go on this one. Not very patient. See? Uh, the Chimes. watchtower. So nice. As you can see, it's low tide, so water doesn't come all the way up to the edge. The jeans of jeans of China. Shanghai. Basically, it's about 
it's actually roughly over 10 kilometers long. So yeah, so I mean, it's a pretty good um, workout. We just got off the stop at the Sky Train. Which stop was that? Uh, Nanjing Dong the East, Road. We, we got East, off Nanjing, the Nanjing East Road. Nanjing Road. Stop. <laughs> There are actually a lot of things to see along the way. Um, there's the People's Square. It's actually on my left side right now. And uh, near the People's Square, there's like People's Park. Stay around, this is the park behind us. And there's like a little door, that a little gate that you can go through. building or the first half of this whole building um, this is the world's largest Starbucks this whole thing 30,000 square feet it's coming around front to the entrance oh my gosh there's a lineup to get in look at that of course there's a lineup iconic landmark in uh, Shanghai. It's in the uh, Shanghai downtown area. And it's a gold temple, it's a Buddhist temple. And uh, during Chinese New Year, this place is gonna be packed. It's gonna be like, you can't even walk inside. Mm. Incense? Yeah. It's kind of like a Persian style thing right here. Oh, Just yeah, you yeah. Walk, like, fun. Yeah. See ashes everywhere. Basically, like your wrist spirit goes to different places. Mm. Oh, not supposed to let it have too much fire, right? Just burning.
just found a little museum at the Shinchindi train station. Pretty cool. Meets its creator. Oh, that's cool. The Mavic meets its creator. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Well, it's a, it's a walking aid. So, we're at Shinchindi. This area is uh, known for being a lot of foreigners come here. It's got a very European vibe. A lot of cute restaurants, lots to do. It's a lot of nightlife. A lot of the students in Shanghai come here to hang out, grab a bite to eat. So we found the DJI store. Daddy's gonna move in. crosswalks all going off simultaneously diagonal and all four corners of a square that's so interesting Yeah.